Mean Video 718. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You got something to say? Let's have a conversation. Funny as fuck. They, they very entertaining, as you can fucking see. They outspoken as a motherfucker. They need to be doing something in the politics or something. You motherfuckers could be running this country the way you running this motherfucking internet. Every time I wake up, you motherfuckers own this bitch uh, doing some shit. Motherfuckers should be running for president the way they running this motherfucking Instagram. Okay? Now don't tell me no more about my motherfucking badass kids, okay? They all went to school. They all graduated with diplomas. Dre got a good enough diploma out of the jailhouse, so he got a diploma. He, in, he was in college. They all got college credits. When they fill out them motherfucking applications and that shit say, do your parents have college degrees? Yes, motherfucker, you check that box. Your mama graduated uh, with a college degree. When they ask your motherfucking ass, did you go to college? What's your last grade, motherfucker? You say college, some college on that bitch, right? That means I did my motherfucking job or you wouldn't have got to some college, bitch. Stop blaming me. I don't want to hear no more about that fucking prison sentence. A man tried to dig in my ass till I was damn near 13 years old. I had to fight that motherfucker off with all my strength. I was about to put a motherfucker down at 13 years old. Bitch, I don't want to hear no more about that motherfucking prison sentence. Okay? If didn't nobody go in your ass, bitch, get to work out here, okay? Get to motherfucking work. I don't give a fuck about you feeling like you was about to die every day. Bitch, I felt like I was going to get raped every day. You think I'm out here whining and complaining and blaming my mama? Fuck no. Bitch, I'm out here. I've been out here. I've been out here with three motherfucking kids. Your bitch ass got one. I don't want to hear no more about this motherfucking jail sentence. You've been out damn near long as you've been in now. That shit's done. We're done complaining about that fucking jail sentence. You ain't wrote that fucking book yet. Too bad. Okay? Write that shit and keep the fuck going. You don't hear me whine every day. My stepdaddy did this. My mama let my daddy do this. I'll give I love my mother to the to the end of this motherfucking world. Whether she accepts what she did or not. Okay? Say what the fuck you gotta say and keep moving. I don't blame my mama because I had three kids and raised them motherfuckers by myself, worked a full-time job, still got a college degree and still had a nigga and a motherfucking uh, job on the side. Bitch, I did that shit. Y'all say I ain't shit? Get out here and show me what the fuck you are. You ain't showing me shit, baby. You ain't showing me you can handle with the big dogs. You motherfuckers ain't showing me you can rock with me and y'all niggas. You don't hear Callie out here fucking whining and complaining. Do you hear my daughter out here whining and complaining? She work a job, a full-time job. She go to school, full-time school. She raising two kids, two motherfucking kids. Do y'all see my, my daughter out here fucking whining and fighting and complaining with a nigga all day? No, she figured out what's good for her situation and she working that shit. These bitch ass niggas running back and forth whining. I can't find no love. My mama ain't love me good. Bitch, I loved you enough. I showed you how hard I motherfucking work. That should have showed you how much I loved you. Fuck them hugs and kisses I didn't have time to do. If you was out here driving around in Mercedes and Expeditions at 16 years old with motherfucking driver's license. Bitch, I loved you a different type of way. Accept the love I gave you and move the fuck on. Move the fuck around. I don't want to hear no more of that. These Carlissa kids, she raised them like this. Jesus had 12 motherfucking disciples and some of them niggas fucked up too. Okay? Don't fucking blame me for nothing else. They here. They strong. They got, they, they, they went to the doctor. They got all their motherfucking shots. They got their teeth fixed. They, they, they wasn't around here with no raggedy ass teeth. Don't, 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 don't play me like that. Them Callie and Blue have braces on at the same motherfucking time. Some of you mothers know what that bill is like. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. So if I couldn't hug you and kiss you, bitch, because I had to get two jobs to make them braces straighten out your teeth so your motherfucking ass wouldn't be on the damn Instagram right now with people laughing at your smile, talking about you out here looking like uh, Shamar, Shamar, whatever the fuck his name is, bitch, don't play with me. I did my motherfucking job and I did my job well. Y'all can keep trying to put it down all the fuck you want to. And I ain't gonna fucking hear you. No, ma'am, I ain't gonna fucking hear you. I ain't about to blink and wink. 
I ain't about to cry no more motherfucking tears. That jail sentence is over. You've been out five years. Don't nobody want to hear no more about that bullshit. Find something else to complain about, okay? Like like a job. Motherfucker, let's start complaining about going to work. Bitch, then I'm going to hear you again. But right now, I'm not hearing no more of that bullshit. Okay? So let's just start there. Good morning. That's what I'm talking That's what I'm on this morning. These motherfuckers running this IG like they could be the goddamn president. If not uh, uh, the president of motherfucking United States, take your ass over to Mexico and do that shit or something. Because every fucking morning I wake up, y'all motherfuckers running this Instagram like y'all behind the fucking thing pulling the strings. Make this shit do what it do. Stop fucking complaining. You married the motherfucking maids. Y'all got them. Y'all be happy with the motherfuckers now. Don't be c complaining about, oh, Carlissa didn't raise them right. Use a motherfucking lie. Use a motherfucking lie. I'm going to tell you that right now. I bet you they got shit your kids ain't got right motherfucking now. I can guarantee you them motherfuckers got education higher than your kids right motherfucking now. Okay? I know that's fucking right. Yes, ma'am. I done woke up on the right side of the bed this morning. I wake up and you motherfuckers running this IG like y'all could be running this fucking country. Got the motherfucking shit on lock taking turns on my ass. Now, now they done went from putting blue face mama to, to Carlissa's fucked up kids. Y'all don't turn this shit around. Y'all making me take too many for the team. I'm about to start siding with y'all made bitches in a minute. For real. I ain't never cheated on my motherfucking husband. They don't see me dipping out of here, going to get none on the side, getting an extra Gucci bag over here, a Louis over there. No, I accept what I get from my man, and I'm happy with my man. Okay? I don't I do not do none of this shit. You better ask their motherfucking daddy, because their daddies are still running around here hot in the ass. So maybe, may, just maybe, that's their daddy's blood. Maybe that ain't my blood. That's fucking them up at old age. Maybe they... they now that they grown and they can do what the fuck they want to, maybe they being who they was supposed to be. They daddy's kids. These motherfuckers is not my kids. I don't know what the world did to my kids or where the fuck they went. I don't know. The Illuminati, the Tuminati, some motherfucking body done took their ass. But them ain't my kids. I, no, ma'am. I'm sorry. When I went to that jailhouse, my son was respectable. He was loving. He was honorable. He spoke highly of me. He he did. He he was a great son in a joint. I don't know who the fuck this is. He done got out and uh, got in got in rotation with the blue faces. I don't fucking know. Don't fucking blame me no more. I'm not your mammy. Blame it on somebody else, okay? I'm not they motherfucking mammies. No, ma'am. Don't put my name on that shit no more. When you put my name on there, you put my name on there <clears throat> all the way up until that motherfucker got out, okay? Don't put my name on none of the shit after that. All this blue face shit, don't put my name no more on none of that shit neither. Now, I done had enough. I don't know whose fucking kids them is, but they ain't mine. Somebody body snatched them bitches or something. I'm telling you, I can look at them motherfuckers in the eyes and tell they ain't mine. You ain't finna tell me I raised Jonathan all the way, took him, dropped him off at the college house. This motherfucker ain't never cussed and did no disrespectful shit ever in life. Not suspended, not uh, expelled, not kicked off a bus not kicked out of the auditorium, not kicked out of shit to all of a sudden he calling his mom bitches and hoes. Somebody done body snatched them bitches. Them is not my kids. Them is not the motherfuckers I raised. Them is not the motherfuckers that watch me get up and go to work every motherfucking day tired as fuck. Waking me up talking about they hungry. Bitch, you are 16. Get in the kitchen and make some cereal, a sandwich, or do something. Why the fuck you waking me up? No, somebody body snatch. Somebody out here body snatching kids. Them is not my motherfucking kids. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That motherfucker had a transplant or something in that jailhouse right before he left out. Them is robots. Them is not my motherfucking kids. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Now, the comedy shit they say, I, that's all me. I, I, I did fuck them up making some stupid jokes growing up. That's all me. 
But all that horny shit of running them from this bitch to that bitch, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that. I had a sugar daddy and a baby daddy. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. Now I don't know what the fuck they doing. So stop blaming me for that shit. I'm not taking no more responsibility, no. Check they motherfucking, uh, unzip they hair, they skull, see if some sixes in that bitch or something. Them is not my motherfucking kids. I don't care what nobody say. They were scared of me growing up. I could look at them motherfuckers with that look and they were straighten up right. Them motherfuckers is looking back at me with a different kind of look, okay? Them is not my motherfucking kids. I don't care what nobody say. We in Walmart, you know what I'm saying? Dre, you got to kind of look at him like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Callie, you like, put this shit down. Blue, you like, baby, put that down. Now it's flipped all the way around. I got to look at Blue like I'm the devil. And he acting like the goddamn devil. I wouldn't take them motherfuckers in no Walmart. Them is not my kids. My kids could go in Walmart, help me push that buggy, and say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, can I have, ma'am? Them motherfuckers that's calling me bitches and hoes, I don't know them bitches. They need an exorcism. Now, I, fuck the counselor. We don't need no motherfucking counselor. We need a goddamn priest. And preferably one from the 1970s that know how to do some real shit. Okay? Them motherfuckers need an exorcism. And put one on them bitches they fucking too. Because I swear, maybe some of the oil is seeping off into them. Okay, them motherfuckers don't need no counselors. They beyond that. Them motherfuckers need exorcisms. Don't come back around here no more with that shit. Mm -mm. It's getting ready to be winter time, and although it don't get very cold out here, whatever it get, bitch, you can't come here. You better, you better warm up to them big maid bitches and figure it the fuck out from here on out. You don't got no come back to. And your daddy somewhere with a hot hoe, so they ain't got nowhere for you to go neither. Both y'all daddies are somewhere in a one bedroom with a hot hole and a goddamn, uh, uh, what you call it, a blunt. Smoking a blunt and drinking some old wild English rolls. So you know you motherfuckers can't go to neither one of them bitches. Okay? So no ma'am, don't try to blame me. Mm-mm. I will not have it. I will not have it. Y'all see the motherfuckers running this Instagram like they Bill motherfucking Clinton. Okay, got Hillary Clinton on the side. They sucking dick and getting the shit on them, talking about they ain't swallow or whatever the fucking he said. They over here doing the same goddamn thing. They need to be running this goddamn country, okay? They done found them a couple Hillary's, okay? And <clears throat> that's what it's gonna be. Gone down the fucking road. Them is not my kids. No, ma'am, I'm not taking no more responsibility for that shit. They need an exorcism. Talking be like talking about me like I wasn't in the fucking stands every fucking where they went. I couldn't go nowhere. I had to go everywhere with them bastards. Everywhere, okay? Andre went to four, five motherfucking high schools and I drove. I had to drive. He getting kicked out of every single high school within driving distance, bitch. You are fucking horrible to sit here and say that it's me. I drove your ass to this school, this school. You got kicked out of every school you ever went to. But it's me. I wasn't at the schoolhouse. I just made sure you got there. And then had to come early off my job because you kicked out. Now you want to blame me? Your co-defendant is still sitting there for 47 to life. If I wouldn't have got you no lawyer and, and, and deal with the fuck I did, you'd be sitting right next to that motherfucker, yes or no? Y'all motherfuckers is playing with me. Y'all playing with me way too tough right now. Y'all playing with my motherfucking name, my legacy, and everything else. My daddy don't even claim these bitches. When my daddy say who his grandkids is, he do not add Andre and John. I can tell you that shit right motherfucking now. My daddy ready to give it to one of them right now, okay? <laughs> Call my daddy and ask him who Andre and John is. He will tell you he the fuck don't know. I don't know them niggas.
And people keep keep seeming to forget. Like when a man get cheated on too, he he cheated on his wife when he first got out. No, that's not right, but it's normal, bitch. You should have been prepared and ready for that, cause I would have been. Okay, this nigga ain't seen no grown lady titties, ass, or nothing since he since he went to prison at 16 years old. If you thought he wasn't about to get out here and get him a piece, honey, you should have said, okay, I'm about to get out the way. Let him sow his royal oats that he you should have never married the motherfucker. That's what you shouldn't have done. He ain't never seen a grown he ain't never seen a grown lady ass before. You shouldn't have married him. Then you want to hold him accountable. He get out the first week. He blue faced brother. They running, they running through shit. Like they ain't got no motherfucking sense at all. And y'all gonna say, oh, I raised them. Bitch, I wasn't rich. I worked every day. I couldn't run through people like that. That is not my problem and not my fault. Bitch, you shouldn't have married no man getting out of no jail. You knew he was in that jail. You should have gave him some uh, a cooling off period or something. The motherfucker jumped out here like he was a, a, a 1990 Toyota. You should have gave that motherfucker a cooling off period and caught back up with him to see what he wanted to do. Okay, but you didn't. You did it that way. So it, and you and he made a little boo boo, and he told you about the boo boo, which I told the motherfucker, don't tell nobody some shit you done fucked up and did if they don't know. If you finna do right now, get your life right. But he couldn't get his life right. One taste of that ass out here is like cocaine. Y'all know what it is. They twerking and jerking. And every time you look around, they got BBLs and BBDs. And you looking around this motherfucking shit. It's hard for me as a, as a grown ass woman not to look sometimes. I have to do my, I have to stay in prayer not to be looking at all this ass. Girl, this ain't no joke out here. What is you talking about? Carlissa's kids. Meanwhile, you got Cynthia's kids over here with a thong, knee deep in her ass, twerking in front of my retarded ass sons. How that's my fault? Now my ass on the ground was an accident. I don't give a fuck. I'm going. I'm sticking to that shit to the end of the course. Okay. My ass on here was an accident. I wasn't twerking, jerking, trying to make you look up in it or none of that. I didn't even. I didn't even put no lotion on that motherfucker. Okay. So you not gonna blame me, cause Cynthia out here with her ass turned up, okay? And my kids can't handle it. They didn't grow up seeing all of that ass, okay? I'm sorry. They grew up in Santa Clarita. Well, they, they by the time they was old enough to understand what ass is, I got them out the hood at that point. Now they had the hood in them. I ain't gonna take that from them. They was definitely some hood niggas. But by the time they knew what ass was, they was over there where the maids was at, okay? So don't try to don't try to act like well, <laughs> he ever seen some shit like that before. Cause I know Andre got out here and probably about damn near lost his mind if all he seen was her ass in that damn jail till he was 29 years old. Come on, somebody. Now we gonna have to be realistic about this situation. And then she got his ass back and he can't take it. Now I told her, don't do that. Just leave. Just just get the divorce. Nah, she got out here and wanted to show his black ass how she how she could get it done too, honey. Big or not, she was share she was gonna share that thing out this bitch, okay? And he can't take it now. He thought he had him a Jaden. No, sir, you don't. She's a little more seasoned than Jaden. I raised Jaden, okay? I made sure Jaden kept that coochie to herself. I I was in her ear every day. That's the conversation that we had, girl. Don't you do that shit until you're ready to go. That's one thing you will have over these bitches and they big asses, okay? Because we know you ain't got none. But if your shit clean and you ain't got that many miles on that motherfucker, you might be able to stand up to one of these bitches. Now that other one, she went off and did what she wanted to do with her ass. It's her ass to do what she want to do with it, okay? And now he can't take it. Now you got to take it. You done went up in that girl phone, found some shit y'all don't like. Now you mad. Now you looking at her every day trying to figure out how that nigga was tossing that ass. And that's your fault. You shouldn't have been in her phone. You should have mind your own business. Now 
Now you want to make her feel bad. Shit. You can't make her feel bad. Them niggas was after that ass, big or not. They like big ass too. That's where you fucked up at. And you calling her big and fat ain't finna stop them niggas from wanting that ass, okay? I don't know what the fuck they think this is trying to blame me, but no, ma'am. I did homework. I, I didn't do that much homework because I didn't have that much. Ed I graduated high school barely. I barely graduated. So I, as far as I could take them, I did. And after that, I paid some tutors to help them. But I took my black ass back to school so that I can help John um, with his schoolwork. Yes, I did go back. But when Andre graduated, I, all I knew was how to hustle, baby. That's all I know how to do was hustle. And I did that shit. My kids can't never motherfucking tell you they didn't have no roof over their head, no couple cars outside, or no goddamn food in that refrigerator. They out here with one and two kids whining like life is beating them up. Bitch, you can't walk with me. You can't compare your parenting. I don't give a fuck how many of them damn books you read. <laughs> you can't compare your parenting to my parenting. You couldn't hang with me. You couldn't hang with me. Jaden had more females than men. Yeah, I done had some females too, but bitch, them don't count. I don't give a fuck how much bad you want them to count. We ain't counting no bitches. We is not finna count no rubbing, no bumping, no, uh, no carpet burns. We is not going to do it. We just ain't going to do it. It ain't the same. I'm sorry. She didn't have no um, stanky leg up in that. So that's what it is. Now you could be mad all you want to. You should have did the same thing if you wanted your shit to be like her shit. That was her choice. We made our choice. Cheating is cheating. You goddamn right. But it ain't cheating. If you if you and your partner agree to, that you do you and I'ma do me, that ain't cheating. That ain't cheating. Cheating is lying. Go look up the definition of cheating. Cheating is when you lying, motherfucker. You know what cheating is. Now, if we got an agreement, we ain't cheating. We doing what the fuck we want to do till we get grown and ready. Jaden ain't letting nobody penetrate her. If you haven't noticed, she the stud. She ain't letting you stick nothing up in there. She the man. She the daddy. <laughs> now how we get all off course? Y'all all off course trying to be in Jaden draws. She ain't shit neither. You right. She ain't shit neither. They all the same. Uh. Y'all know ain't neither one of my sons sassy. Now we can call them a lot of things. Lazy, trifling, good for nothing. But sassy is just... I would fucking tell you. If I had one of them, I'd just say it. It'd just be what it is, honey. I just have to shit. We ain't gonna bear false witness on nobody. They got enough shit. My kids got enough shit we could talk about that we ain't gotta lie. We we ain't gotta lie. We could just say the motherfuckers. She in charge. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. I don't care who y'all talk about. Just stick to the truth. They fucked up enough to tell the truth. You ain't got to add on no extra shit. Them motherfuckers are stone cold. 
I raised both them bitches till they went to college, okay? <laughs> Helped them with the schoolwork, gave them rides, promise rings. This bitch gonna tell him, don't share your mama's show because she called our kids motherfuckers. Bitch, I've been calling you a motherfucker your whole life. <laughs> Just say you a hater and you want to make sure my son ain't got no which other way to go but you. That's all you had to say, bitch. I would have helped you do that shit. I definitely would have helped you. No, ma'am, she ain't innocent. No, ma'am, she is not. And that's why he mad. He found out she doing just as much as he was doing. That's what you get. And it's hurting his poor feelings that Jaden didn't do it. Everybody not the same, boo. Everybody not the same. You knew what you had when you got her. Don't be whining about it now. I mean, we also have to look at it like they had they human beings. Kelly had her time when she was have going through her problem with her man too. She just learned from her, from her mistake. That's all that is. Everybody, all of us, you done been through it too, bitch. Don't even get on here and act brand new. You looking for your baby daddy right now. No, he, he shouldn't. Blue should not be taking care of me, not never, because Mr. Saffold, as long as I have a husband, I'm not like the other, other rapper mamas. I wasn't leaving my husband because my son got rich. No, no, baby. <laughs> no, no.